Now, I wonder what happens if we use a meteor on the Cessna. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Incoming! This thing is going to get destroyed in one hit. Oh! <laughs> well, that was easy. Welcome back to Teardown. I'm back on the Boeing 737 map because apparently it's had some updates. And one of the things that they updated was the doors. So apparently you can now open these. So let's find out. Oh, wait, that was the mechanism to open it wasn't it uh okay i broke the door let's go ahead and try this one so have you ever wanted to open a plane door no yeah no me neither don't ever do it a stupid idea but anyway here we go let's see if this works and ah! oh my goodness oh, bad idea this is what happens this is why you should never do it oh god everyone seat belts everyone where wait where's all the passengers gone oh no did they get sucked out <laughs> oh no oh there they are hey go it's just a pile of bodies. Oh, no. I am so sorry about that. So that is why you don't open a door on a plane. But that is not the only thing that came out in this update. We also have another new plane. So let me just go ahead, break this door here. Uh, I'm going to need something bigger than a sledgehammer. I know, a shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask how I got this on the plane. So anyway, if we look out here, I just realized there's actually a bunch of windows. We probably could have used a window, but uh, instead I decided to break the door. But anyway, if we have a look, you can see there is now another plane. That right there is a Cessna 172 Skyhawk, I believe. Anyway, let's go check it out. I'm coming. Oh, no. Ah! Just kidding. I can fly, so it's fine. So it is pretty cool that we actually have another plane on this map now. It's right on the border. And for some reason, these aren't spinning. So you have to like manually do it. Oh, it's so peaceful when you're inside. So we can actually turn on the light in here, which is pretty cool. Um, I think that's all it really does. So why don't we go ahead and destroy it? Oh, I used a physics gun on it. Oh, bad idea. Oh, what the? I made it go down straight away. Oh, and it's gone. Well, that's that. All right, let's use a physics gun on the actual plane, shall we? Uh oh, okay. Yeah, that was a bad idea. Everything's very laggy. So I've gone ahead and restarted. I've also installed a new mod, which is the Meteor Strike. So let's see if we can survive in the plane when it hits. So uh, let's place one here and one here. Okay, everybody, brace for impact. Here we go. Oh, oh there it is. Okay. Huh. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Everything seemed okay for a second there. Oh, everyone's getting ripped out of the plane again. I am so sorry about this, everyone. Right, let's see if we can survive a few more strikes. Uh, so I'm now clicking. Okay, that's probably about five strikes inbound. Get ready. Oh, oh there we go. That's terrifying. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be very difficult to survive. So I reckon the plane is probably cut in half by now, right? Let me go check it out. I, I have no idea how we're still in the air right now after that. Look at the state of this place. I'm just going to go ahead and, um, well, send in a few more. Where are they? There they are. Look at that. Here come the meteor strikes. Oh, jeez. Get ready for impact. Oh, okay. That's bad. That's very bad. Hang on a minute. I've just realized the back of the plane is only connected through this right here. So let's go ahead, use the arc welder, and then just take it apart. Here we go. Oh, and release. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, man. That looks crazy. More explosions just went off in the plane. Let's see if I can destroy the engine using a lightsaber here. Here we go. Oh, how is it? Oh, there we go. Engine failure. It's now on fire. That was easy. Now, I wonder what happens if we use a meteor on the Cessna. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Incoming! This thing is going to get destroyed in one hit. Oh! <laughs> well, that was easy. Now, I don't want my computer to crash or get destroyed. So, I'm just going to make sure to restart the world every time we get to like one frame per second. But anyway, let's just do this one more time because it's a lot of fun. Open the door. Let's go. Wee! <laughs> Man, honestly, I could play on this map for so long. Look at this person just flying. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! What the? I'm alive! And now, here we are at Iron Man's mansion. Pretty cool, right? Can we drive? Oh, we could drive the vehicle. Nice. So, I haven't really checked out this map yet, but... Oh, hang on a minute. Um, I've just had an idea. Destroy the mansion! <laughs> I mean, it is teardown, of course. What else am I going to do to Iron Man's mansion? So this is a pretty good way of destroying it. However, of course, because I have a bunch of mods installed, well, I know a better way of doing it. So I'm now in the mansion. And if I look up, well, we should be able to see the meteor strikes coming in. Oh, look, there's some more coming right for me. Oh, jeez. Ow, ow. Okay, uh, I died. 
in Iron Man's Mansion. Now, something that I really like about the Meteor Strike mod is that you can actually stop them in the sky and then just restart them up. All you have to do is select another weapon, essentially. So if I go to Meteor Strike, there we go. There they are. And then they're gone. They're back and gone. Right, anyway, let's go ahead and watch them hit the mansion. Oh, that is so cool. But I don't think it's enough damage. So I'm just going to go ahead and send in a nuke. All right, get ready for one frame per second. Oh, man. We'll just give it a minute. So the nuke has now gone off. And we're going to see what it looks like after when the nuke's over with. And there shouldn't really be anything left of this map. Yeah, so it turns out I wasn't kidding. The map is literally gone. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and restart it. You know, I've just realized I haven't actually shown you around this place. I've only been destroying it. So let me go ahead and open up let's have a little tour and then of course go ahead and destroy it why can't i open the door right you know what i'll just smash my way in there we go so i don't know it seems very scaled down in here i guess it's not fully accurate um i mean it would be pretty difficult to actually have it super accurate to the movie but uh that's fine anyway let's go downstairs let's try and find iron man's lab oh here we go there's his suits how cool is that? <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, not too bad. Anyway, we can destroy them if we want to. So we have a couple of Lamborghinis down here. And if we go even lower, we've got whatever this is. I can't actually remember. But anyway, let's go back up here and see what else we have. Can we go this way? I think this just leads outside the house, right? Yeah. All right, let's go back in real quick. And let's go upstairs. The really weird stairs. Oh, okay. So we've got some rooms up here as well. I have no idea what that is. So yeah, you know what? It, it is a pretty nice map. Very fun to destroy, which, of course, I'm about to do once again. So here we go. Got my rocket launcher here. Let's just go ahead and blow it up. I'm going to try and actually get rid of this part right here. Make it fall into the water, which I'm pretty sure happened in the movie. Oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, right. Looks like we need the physics gun for this and drop. There we go. Uh, give me that. <laughs> and now let's send one of his cars to space. There we go. And... <laughs> Away it goes. Yes. Anyway, back to destroying the mansion. Here we go. Keep firing the rockets. Hmm. That's a nice tree. Fire. You know what? This could be a job for the Fermite Cannon. Here we go. Or actually, maybe it's not. I don't think everything in here will burn very well. I think a lot of it's made out of concrete and stone and other materials like that that are not flammable. So maybe the Fermite Cannon here is not the best option. Well, actually, with that being said, it does look like it's on fire right now. So I think we should be okay, especially with a bit of help from the Mega Gun on the Mini Nuke saying, all right, this should do the job. Here we go. Oh, yes, that is doing it. So this is technically the second time I've nuked this place today. Yep, that is a lot of destruction. Okay, helicopter, time to fly into the water. And it's gone. Anyway, moving on, here is a map that I have not actually played on yet. This is called Huge Spike Fall, I believe. So we have a bunch of vehicles here lined up, as you can tell. And then over here, we have these pits. So this one, what is that? Is that just, just yellow? I, I don't know what this actually does. Oh, do you have to? Oh, I see. I think you fall through it. And then the one next to that, we have, uh, yeah, spikes by the looks of it at the bottom. So that's the spike pit. And then on this side, well, it looks like another spike pit, actually. So yeah, I am pretty excited excited to try this let's go ahead grab a vehicle and then fall down the hole what should we go for first you know what i'm just gonna give this truck here a go uh let's go for the left one first and see what that one's like so i'm guessing you just gotta go through the yellow parts and then you're gonna go into the spike pit all right here we go oh and here we go we're falling down oh yep we went right through <laughs> and into the spike pit. Such a simple but fun map. Now, I don't know why, but I really want to see this vehicle right here go into the spike pit. And I'm just going to go for the one on the right, go for the simple one, and hopefully we'll go straight down. Right, break a little bit. And oh, that's it. And here we go. Oh, we've already destroyed the vehicle quite a bit. We've lost the logs and impact. Oh, let's get another vehicle. I reckon it's time for us to cause an explosion. Okay, here we go. And oh, we're going to hit the wall, aren't we? Oh, no. Oh, oh no, we're okay. We're fine. Yes, it's going to blow. Oh, 
Hey, I survived. I have no idea how I managed to survive that. Now, I've still got the thruster mod installed. So I'm thinking, I wonder if I can go down into the pit and then try and go back up using the thrusters. So we have the golf caddy here, which is extremely light. So we should actually be able to fly. Okay, here we go. Reverse thrusters. Oh, no. Uh-oh. This isn't working. This isn't working. We're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, that really did not work. All right, let's give this truck a go, shall we? And let's once again go for the left one. Here we go. Oh, okay. Uh, uh. Full speed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, straight into one of the spikes. Help me. Now, of course, you don't have to drive all the vehicles into the pit. If you want, you can just go ahead and use the physics gun, pick them up, and then throw them down, just like this truck right here. And into the spike pit. Anyway, I reckon I've had my fun with this map, so let's move on to the next one. And here we are, back on the Vauxhall Plaza map. I'm on this one quite often, but I do actually really like this map. Even though we have a bunch of zombies that are always after us. So I thought what we could do is, using the Meteor Strike mod once again, try to survive in one of these buildings. So I choose this building right here. It's pretty empty, so we don't have much cover from the Meteor Strikes. But anyway, let's climb the building. And I say we go for maybe the middle floor. You know what? No, screw it. Let's go for the top floor. Wow, this is nice. And we have a nice view of zombies on the other side. Stupid zombies. Yeah, I'm just going to shoot with my gun. Yeah, there we go. Okay, here we go. Um, There, there, and there. All right, we have three inbound. Let's just look out the window. I don't see them at the minute. Where are they coming from? I have no idea. Oh, there they are. Found them. Okay, we've got about four more incoming. Uh, oh, there they are. Run back, run back. Oh, I'm okay. That is so loud. Look at the damage. Whoa, that's gone really far down. Okay, we have another one inbound right there. Let's activate slow motion. Oh, that looks so cool. And not too much damage with that one. Right, let's make things really difficult. Click, 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 click. Lots of clicks. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Oh, I'm getting out of it. I'm getting out of it. Oh, <laughs> click so many times. Oh. Jeez. Oh, I am so lucky. Look at the state of the building now. Anyway, I'm going to continue clicking. Okay, here we go. I've clicked about 20 times, maybe even more. Oh, -ho! all right. That was far too many clicks because I am now dead. I have failed. I have not survived. Actually, that might have been way more than like 20. Whoa, look at that. That looks so cool. And look at the building as well. It's just a massive hole in the side. Right, let's just see what it looks like from the outside, shall we? So I'm going to click a few times around the building. And here come the meteor strikes now. Oh, this is such a cool mod. It looks so cool when you see them coming in from the sky like that. I love the trail they leave behind as well. All right, more clicks. Meteors inbound. Prepare for impact. Oh, look how many we have over there. One almost hit the crane. You know what? Let's just see how much damage we can actually do to the building, shall we? Oh, they're coming in from all directions now. Just so cool to watch. Oh, the crane. The crane in the background has been hit and it is going down. You know what? I'm just going to fire another one at the crane. All right, here we go. Hopefully this actually hits it. Here it comes and hits. Nice. I wonder if I can actually bring the entire building down just by using meteors. Could be a little bit difficult. I reckon we aim this area here. We might actually get away with it. I mean, that is pretty much the entire building destroyed now. There's not too much left. It's kind of weird how the fire escape there is still intact like that. I'm guessing it's because this building here has been protecting this side quite a lot, and that's why we just have this right here. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There's another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!